Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So over the weekend, we have reported a story on Diddy. Um, if you guys don't know, some rapper out of Queens, New York, came out. Her name is Swinderella. And she's basically saying that Diddy and Young Miami swindled her song. That she was the original person who had the song Act Bad. She said that um, she made it in 2020 and that the tracks are very similar to her song. So we have reported on this. And um, this is what I wrote in the comment section. I said, I hope P. Diddy keeps the same energy when his own twins start acting bad and low class. They love to sell low vibrational BS to our kids. Meanwhile, they keep their kids in private school and make sure they don't quote unquote act bad. This song is trash. And um, I've never liked the song. Um, I've always told you guys words have power. And it's very funny that in 2020, he was on his woke shit. You know, I'm woke and the black man and this and that. Like when I look at the videos of like, you know, um, Malcolm Martin, Stokely, you know what I'm saying? I wish I could have seen a black man, black man conversation. But now fast forward to 2023, he's running around with Carisha and he's trying to act like a ratchet city girl, even though this is a grown man who's damn near 60. <laughs> So anyhow, um, like I said, I don't like the song. Um, I don't want kids running around here acting bad. They're already acting bad. Not all, but some. You got kids who are out here killing other kids, robbing folks, acting a fool. We report on these stories all the time. So did we really need a song from a mogul who is self-made for the most part and who got there by not acting bad? It's not like Diddy went to jail or was shot nine times. He basically went to college and for the most part stayed on the, you know, the right path, but yet and still he wants our children to act bad. And this is why I feel no ways when the very next day we reported that his own son, his own son, Justin Combs, decided to what? Act bad, <laughs> okay? Um, you know, like I said before, words have power. And if you guys do not know, Justin Combs, who is Diddy's oldest son, he was arrested for DUI. So I'm going to go ahead and break down this story. So the L.A. Police Department officials confirmed that Justin was arrested following a routine traffic stop in Beverly Hills around 8 a.m., OK, not 8 p.m. at night, eight in the morning. And this young man is drunk off his ass. So they go on to say officers conducted the traffic stop and they observed the driver, possibly under the influence of unknown alcohol or drugs. The investigation revealed that he was under the influence. It's, it's not currently clear if Justin Combs had drugs or alcohol in his system. Combs, age 29, was booked into jail. The LAPD could not confirm if he had been bailed out yet. So, of course, my comment to that, I said, his daddy told everyone to act bad. Words have power. Now enjoy a DUI on your record. Shrug. So that's how I felt about the situation. There's no reason for this young man to be drunk or high at 8 o'clock in the morning. He has the means to call an Uber. He has a means to call a Lyft. So the fact that he selfishly chose to put other people's lives at risk is not cool with me in the very least. And it's also not cool with his mother because Misa went off. Misa Hilton, who is Diddy's baby mama, um, we all remember her from the Juicy video holding Justin when he was a baby. And she went in. And usually Misa is really quiet. She keeps to herself. She's a stylist. And this is what Misa had to say. She says, I'm not with none of that reality TV shit. When is enough enough? Yeah, okay. I'm not protecting no one anymore. Just my son 100 and all the children. I love a come to Jesus moment. The statement of fish rots from the head down means that in addition to being a major contributing factor in a family or organization's success, leadership is also the root cause of its failure and demise. The truth shall set you free. Act bad? Question mark. 
act bad, bad boy. I used to want to be a bad girl. I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional. I should have kept my child with me. Fuck UCLA too. Everybody can get it 100. Then she says, how you go from one of the greatest to ever do it to making all your money off alcohol and suing the damn alcohol company. Sell something healthy that builds people up. I'm sick of it, not mines. And Christina, if you ever try to handle me again, I will go straight across your head. Stay out the way. You are a nice person. Everyone is tough until it's time to be tough. And so that is what Misa said. So this has caused a lot of controversy because usually, like I said, Misa stays out of drama. I think the last video I did on her was when everybody was dragging her because they were saying she was underage when she got with Diddy and he knocked her up. She claimed she wasn't, but child, we was there in the 90s, but carry on. So anyhow, Justin is grown. He's at the big age of 29. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, this is a grown man. Why is she not holding her son accountable? I'm sure she's holding her son accountable behind the scenes. Misa does not play when it comes to Justin. But what people are not understanding, she's also blasting Diddy for his ways. I don't know if Diddy's going through a midlife crisis or what his issue is, but he's been promoting a lot of fuckery and bullshit. You don't like me? motherfucking get to it, nigga. You don't like me? You motherfucking front. Get to it, bitch. Don't fucking play with me on Halloween. I'm out here with love, nigga. Not only to our children who don't have the means for lawyers and, you know, bailing themselves out when they act bad. But now he's also setting a dangerous example for his children. And I think that's what's really concerning Misa. And as a mother, it doesn't matter how old your kids get, you're still a parental figure, you're still a parent, and you're still going to try and parent your child no matter how old they get. So I feel why Misa's upset and why she's blasting Diddy. I think she's tired of the antics. Um, she's always sat back quietly, but now that his antics and this carefree lifestyle that he's providing these kids, because right now there's really no guidance around Diddy and any of these kids. We see the twins, they were getting drugged few months ago for having a birthday party where literally all these kids were dressed like grown women including the game's daughter and I feel like you know maybe she feels like there's no woman there there's nobody really to guide them Diddy is currently you know shacking up with different women the main one that he's with off and on is 28 year old Carisha. What can Carisha teach Justin when she's literally a year younger than him? What can Carisha teach the twins when she still runs around here acting like a ditzy teenager herself? I definitely understand her for being upset. And the sad part is as much money as Diddy has, he should be indulging in better things, especially because his kids look up to him. But instead he'd rather push his kids towards a lifestyle that's more detrimental. And again, Justin is a grown man. Um, I I definitely hold him accountable um, for his actions. He chose to drink or get high and jump behind the wheel of a car. But I also understand where Misa is coming from. And, you know, as a parent, you're going to still parent. But I also believe that they should have started a lot earlier. This kid didn't just start partying. And I've seen many pictures of Misa over the years with her son at, you know, these said parties, having a good time and partying right along with him and Diddy. She's trying to stop the enabling. A lot of people have enabled Diddy's behavior over the years. And I think she's finally waking up because remember, Diddy got with her when she was young, like 16, 17. She can try and, you know, up her age all she wants. But again, as a 90s kid, we were there. So I think she's finally coming into her own and she's putting her foot down. And this was the final straw for her. The fact that her son was arrested for DUI. Diddy's putting out songs talking about act bad. So I'm not mad at her for blasting Diddy. Um, but she also needs to make sure that she's also keeping her foot on her child's neck. So that way you know, nothing else bad befalls him because what we don't want to see is Justin, who, who has been for the most part on the straight and narrow, going to college, handling his business. Um, you know, he's probably wild behind the scenes, but Diddy's the cleanup man, so we don't hear too much about Justin's antics. So there must be a lot of things going on behind the scenes, and Misa at this point is tired, hence why she's going off. Diddy needs to start influencing all his children to do the right thing and not act bad. 
So on that note, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation concerning Diddy, Justin, and Misa. Um, also, do you guys feel like Diddy stole Swinderella's song? How do you guys feel about the song Act Bad? I watched the video one time. I wasn't feeling it. The song to me is trash. I expect it better, especially for a man who made hit after hit after hit in the 90s. So let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading them. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.